A series that was shot here in Rochester is set to debut on Netflix. We've been waiting for this. Hyperdrive was shot last year at Eastman Business Park. And joining us now, we have two of the cast members, stars, I should say, of this show, Brittany Williams and Aaron Parker. So good to join, have you with us today. What's up? How are you? How's it going? Oh, uh, we're great, because now I feel like the mystery has been a little bit revealed of what was going <laughs> on at the park. You know, we've been talking about this for weeks when you guys were here shooting. We were like, what's going on? And I saw some of the clips that I didn't even recognize our city. This, this looks like a lot of fun. Describe the show. It was amazing. So as you said, it was shot at the Kodak Eastman Business Park, which is right in y'all's backyard. And it's literally like Fast and the Furious meets Ninja Warrior. <laughs> and it's a, com it's a competition between 28 drivers from around the world where we are put up against the most insane obstacles you could ever imagine. Wow. It's, they're obstacles that no race car driver has no. ever really attempted. Wow. So Things competition. Things you couldn't even prepare for, you know? Yeah, yes, competition. Absolutely. And you two are sitting next to each other. You guys doing okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, weirdly enough, so <laughs> it is a competition. And yeah. we, we were obviously, you know, we were competing against one another. But as you watch the show, you'll see that we get along extremely well because it's less of a competition between the drivers mm -hmm. and it's actually more of a competition of all of us facing the same challenge mm. which is this obstacle course okay. yeah so it's like us drivers versus the track yes. not so much us drivers versus each other wow. like we all became awesome fa friends so the whole group is now just like this awesome group of friends that we like interact with now. You have a bond, that's great. So what I also mm -hmm. read was it's not so much the track itself and, and what you guys go through, but you guys have some, you guys have different backgrounds. You come from different places. You, this is what you guys do for a living though. You race cars, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like, uh, you know, I, it's what I do like full time and this is my passion and this show gave us all a place to showcase what we are so passionate about in a competitive format. So it's the perfect platform for all of us to kind of like show the world what we're made of. Brittany, for you, I was reading that you were one of the top female drifters in the Lone Star State. What is a drifter? School me on this, this so, racing lingo. <laughs> <laughs> so the cool thing about hyperdrive is all these different styles of motorsports coming together. So me personally, I come from drifting, which uh, Everyone always references the Fast and the Furious when they think of drifting, but ah. for me, imagine going sideways in your car all the time. Oh, wow. At really high speeds. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, it, and you're driving. not, this isn't, you know, just, you know, power sliding in a parking lot. This is going sideways with absolute precision and control, which is a lot more difficult than it looks, especially when you're filming at 3 a.m., with all these lights in your face, <laughs> looking up at a six-story tall uh, teeter-totter, yeah. Wow, were you one of, are you the only female part of this team, or is there others? <laughs> no, and honestly, I was so amazed. There is a, actually quite a few, extremely talented and mm -hmm. so amazing female drivers. And they, again, they come from all over the world. You've got drivers from Europe, from Japan, from South Africa, and it was so cool to be able to see them and bond with them yeah. on the show. What is it about racing when you get behind the wheel? And Aaron, I'll start with you. What is it about this sport that you love so much? Uh, there's a couple aspects that I really enjoy about it. One of them is the fact that I just like crave competition. So for me, anything that puts me in a place where I can compete against a challenge and try to conquer that challenge is really fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And um, also, I, I just love automotive stuff. You know, like, I got into motorsports because it was a natural progression from, like, riding a BMX bike and, you know, uh, <laughs> what that is is, like, you know, your first bit of freedom being able to, like, get on something and go. Yeah. Uh, to getting my license, which now I was able to jump behind uh, you know, something, push <laughs> on like the gas pedal and now that propels you, yeah. you know, so that was just like so awesome. <laughs> See, pretty cool. I asked them too about what they drive off the track. How, do the, how does that compare and what it's like driving on the road compared to racing ar around a track at, you know, a, 
a high rate of speed. You'll be, you might be surprised by their answers. We've got part two of our interview with Brittany Williams and Aaron Parker, and that airs tomorrow on Good Day Rochester. 